To a second game uh, here. This one involves an ACC team that uh, that had a shaky time most of last season, including in the pre-conference. That's the Pitt Panthers. Pitt playing host to UT Martin, a 10.5-point opening line for Pitt. And right away, another official play for mid-major. Matt, he loves the mid-majors. You're all over this one. Tell me more. So, um, uh, first of all, I'll say I got it at 12 when it first came out. Uh, I loved it here. And it's fading Pitt. Um, I want to take UT Martin here. Um, Pitt's going to be without John Hughley, who is their offense. Let's be honest. Um, it's been a weird offseason already. They go. They pick up Dior Johnson, the five-star kid. And I'm not bitter at all that he decided not to go to Syracuse and decommitted there. And then I think went to <laughs> Oregon and then decommitted there and went to Pitt. And then he got in trouble. And now he's not playing either. Uh, their offense is just not very good, you know. Talking to Jeff Capel at uh, ACC Media Day, uh, I asked him about how much focus they put into these first couple games because you look at the last two years, they lost their first game of the season to lesser opponents, and he talked about how there is an extra focus, but that was with John Hughley in the lineup. Uh, Jeffress is also not going to be in the lineup for Pittsburgh in this one, and you look at UT Martin, you know, Parker Stewart coming back after spending some time in Indiana. They've got a really good, good backcourt here, um, and I just think that Pittsburgh's a team I want to fade, as, especially early on, as long as John Hughley's out because he is a big part of their lineup. He is the bulk inside. So, uh, as I said, I got it 12. I'm fine with it at 10 and a half. Um, but I think UT Martin has a chance to make things very interesting in ACC country tonight. Am I recalling off the top of my head, it was Navy, I think, last year that rolled into Pitt, I think, and beat them outright. Early season upsets are going to happen, including you're gonna, probably going to have two or three of them tonight on the opening night on this Monday, November 7th. Uh, any thought here, Corby Craig, on the line somewhere around 10 and a half, 10, something like that for UT Martin? We have it here on the show at 10 and a half. What about it? Yeah, so um, just going back to last year, it was the Citadel they lost to. So even the last year, the Navy. Um, I am on Ken Pumps, was able to see that. Yeah, I completely agree. I think Pitt is a team that got projected way too high early on. I'm looking now that Ken Palm gave him 83rd grade in offensive rating, and there's just no way to justify an offensive rating of 83. Um, this offense, miserable. And uh, missing so many pieces, I completely agree. There's been betting groups hitting UT Martin pretty early today, I think this morning. <laughs> so um, interesting to note, but I agree. UT Martin could potentially go here and, and make it very interesting very early on. All right. Fair enough. And again, you'll get some obscure teams from we kept talking Matt, about Bryant University on the show last year. You might get a Toledo. We love this off the beaten path uh, for the show. I should say the Matt Joseph's fan club is already coming through on the live uh, viewership on the live chat. They love you, babe. They're, I mean, it's it's a given, but they love you. So the audience is growing and growing. Hit that like button. Hit the bell. Share us out. We're here again. Every weekday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern time. You're going to have to wake up a little later if you're in the other time zone, Central Mountain time zone, et cetera, to see us live. You may be watching us a little bit later on in the day uh, before the games go on that night, but we're here Monday through Friday. Let's go to a... Th